Okay, describe number line. Describe and define natural numbers, whole numbers, integers, rational numbers, rational, any rational numbers using number line, and what are real numbers. So three components uh, of equation. Uh, I think I'll use uh, this video to describe number line. I'll define real numbers and also I'll also define natural numbers, whole numbers and integers. And for rational numbers and irrational numbers, I think I'll have to make another video. So first thing first, describe number line. A number line is traditionally a horizontal line but it can also be a vertical line, it can also be a line in any direction and it can also be a line at any angle. But as I said, this is this is uh, the most frequent way to represent a number line, a horizontal line. The line is a very useful tool to graphically and visually understand the concepts of addition, subtraction, fractions and others and it is especially helpful to understand these concepts with negative numbers so students really find it difficult to understand the concepts of addition and subtraction for example with negative numbers and this is where the number line can be very very helpful to understand these basic concepts of addition and subtraction with negative numbers the line can also help in uh, understanding the relations between numbers so we have described or defined the number line briefly so let's describe some of the features of the number line that are visible here to understand uh, it a little bit better and to understand the purpose of a number line a little bit better so the first feature notice that number line has arrows in both directions and these arrows indicate infinity it means that the line does not end in this direction it does not end in this direction okay so this number nine is not the last number on this number line in this direction and this negative nine is not the last number on this number uh, on this number line in this direction it has points so these are the points and these points represent real numbers real numbers so basically a real number is any number that you can think of and that can be represented on a number line it can be one of these numbers or one of these numbers it can be this number it can be a fraction it can be a decimal fraction for example or any number that you can think of that can be represented on a number line is a real number by saying that all these numbers natural numbers whole numbers integers rational numbers any rational numbers are sub classifications of real numbers and I think that should define real numbers pretty clearly so any number that you can think of is a real number real numbers have been have been subclassified into a set of other numbers which are known as natural numbers, whole numbers, integers, rational numbers and irrational numbers and we'll understand, try to understand the meaning, the meanings of these these subclassifications. It also has a zero as a central point. It has negative numbers to the left of it, left of the zero and it has positive numbers to the right of the zero. The zero is not associated with negative or positive signs. So zero is neither negative nor positive. The magnitude or the value of a number is represented by the distance of the number from zero. So the value of the numbers is increasing in this direction. It also means that if a number is to the left of another it is smaller than the other one so 8 is to the left of 9 so it means that 8 is smaller than 9 it is less than 9 so 7 is to the left of 8 so 7 is less than 8 or well, 7 is also less than 9 okay and so on and so forth and the same goes 
other way around. So if a number is to the right of another one, then the number is greater than the other one. So for example, 5 is to the right of 4 means that 5 is greater than 4. 3 is to the right of 2, it means 3 is greater than 2 and so on and so forth. Natural numbers, whole numbers and integers. Very simple concepts. Natural numbers are also known as counting counting numbers numbers okay so you can use these numbers to count and they are represented by capital N frequently so they start from 1 and then go on and on in this direction so the first natural number is 1 and there is no last natural number there is no last counting number if you include 0 then you're dealing with whole numbers and the whole numbers are represented by W so 0 is the first whole number and there is no last whole number no last whole number and if you include negative numbers as well then you're dealing with integers okay and these integers are represented by capital Z frequently so Z N for natural numbers W for whole numbers and Z for integers okay so 0 is a whole number it is not a natural number it is not a counting number 1 is an integer as well as a whole number 2 is an integer as well as a whole number it is also a counting number or natural number and I hope that uh, makes things very very clear and for rational numbers and irrational numbers I'll have to uh, make another video so I'll come back to you thanks very much